There's been a massive medical breakthrough. Scientists in the United States have repaired a disease-causing mutation in the DNA of an early-stage human embryo. A team of scientists successfully used a gene editing tool called CRISPR to edit out the disease-causing gene. Scientists say that they corrected a gene mutation linked to inherited heart conditions in human embryos using the method. According to scientists, the method can potentially be used to prevent transmission of genetic disease to future generations. The alteration is heritable, which means that the children and grandchildren of a person born with an edited DNA will be safe from the same genetic disease. The experiment potentially paves the way for preventing 10,000 disorders that are passed down the family. U.S. Uh, teams at Oregon Health and Science University and the Salk Institute along with the Institute for Basic Science in South Korea worked on the experiment together. It was marked by a debate on the ethics of altering human DNA as it may evoke a future where embryos could be engineered for specific features or what's being popularly known as designer babies such as blonde hair, athleticism and even intelligence. The study has been published in the journal Nature. Professor Juan Carlos Espesua Belamonte of the Salk Gene Expression Laboratory said, and I quote, We have demonstrated the possibility to correct mutations in a human embryo in a safe way and with a certain degree of efficiency, end quote. In fact, the embryo editing project is the largest of its kind ever undertaken. Skeptics of germline editing argue that modifying genes in embryos is unnecessary. Let's take a look at this report by the MIT Technology Review to get a better understanding of what exactly gene editing is all about. Take a look. CRISPR. It's science's potential secret weapon for treating inherited diseases like sickle cell anemia and muscular dystrophy. So, how does CRISPR work? To be specific, CRISPR is a system that guides a protein called Cas9 to cut DNA, basically editing your genes. Let's say you want to fix some faulty DNA in a genome. It's a three-step process. To make the CRISPR system go, you provide the genetic address for where the bad stuff is in the DNA. Cas9 uses that sequence to find the bad stuff. Then it starts cutting. How does this all play out? CRISPR uses a guide molecule of RNA, as many as 105 letters long, 20 of which match the target sequence in a gene to find the bad stuff. Swap out the guide RNA, and Cas9 can be directed to millions of different sites. Think of it like an itsy-bitsy tracking device. Then what? Cutting to delete. Or cutting to edit. Delete. Use CRISPR to cut a gene, which can deactivate the bad gene. Edit. CRISPR cuts, but now with a template to make a DNA repair. After the repair, you've got a fresh, clean gene. Hmm, this seems pretty simple. Is CRISPR really such a big deal? Yes, it most certainly is. Consider sickle cell anemia. This disease causes crippling pain, organ failure, and premature death, all because of a single misspelled letter of DNA. Change that, and poof, goodbye sickle cell anemia. Some scientists believe CRISPR could even be used to treat diseases like muscular dystrophy, and they've already shown this works in mice. Okay. So, getting the CRISPR ingredients into a human body isn't going to be easy, but scientists are working on it.